Samsung has begun releasing its latest smartphones, including the Galaxy F15, Galaxy F15 5G, and the Galaxy A25. Soon, they will announce the Galaxy S24 series. Following that, there are expectations for the launch of the Galaxy F55, featuring a better design. Additional details about its Exynos processor have also been disclosed. The Galaxy F55 is anticipated to feature the Exynos 1480 processor, which appears to provide improved multi-core performance compared to the Exynos 1380 chipset found in the Galaxy F54. The Exynos 1480 has been identified in Geekbench's database, achieving a score of 1,180 points in the single-core CPU performance test and 3,536 points in the multi-core CPU performance test. In contrast, the Galaxy F54 recorded 1,108 points and 2,797 points in the single-core and multi-core tests, respectively. The device is equipped with the S5E 8845 chipset, previously identified as the Exynos 1480. This chipset boasts four high-performance CPU cores running at 2.75 GHz and four power-efficient CPU cores operating at 2.05 GHz. It includes the Eclipse 530 GPU based on RDNA 2 architecture, reported to offer significantly enhanced performance compared to the Mala GPU as utilized in earlier Exynos processors. It remains uncertain whether this mid-tier GPU supports ray tracing for gaming purposes. The phone's presence on the 3C certification platform recently confirmed its 25-watt charging capability. While the exact launch dates for the Galaxy A55 or A35 remain uncertain, it is anticipated that their release will follow the introduction of the S24 series, as mentioned earlier. Recently, leaked images of the Galaxy F55 have surfaced, revealing notable changes. The phone boasts a metal frame marking a first for the Galaxy S series and slimmer bezels compared to the Galaxy F54. Its rear camera setup consists of three lenses, with a 50-megapixel primary camera and a 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera. Expectations for the device include stereo speakers, an in-display fingerprint reader, and an IP68 rating for protection against dust and water. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.